here on BOSS. It's a podcast which really attracts me by the name because we are in the same field. Today, we've seen a lot of new generation become celebrities, and that is faster. I call it faster celebrities on the social media. A great leader, if he don't take risk, that it will be big risk because you would never learn. The most important, we build together, we grow together, and we respect each other. I love my Africa. And uh, I was doing the youth uh, development and youth empowerment with African country for many years. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to another episode of Be Your Own Boss. As you know, every week we bring you guests from different industries of business, different perspectives and aspects of business and entrepreneurship. Today, our guest is Her Excellency Laila Rahal Al Atfani. She is a global business leader who wears many hats. So many that I literally have a long list of notes here of what she does. Here we go. She is a global goodwill ambassador, the Royal House of Queen Sheba Crown Senator, President and Founder, Business Gate and Business Woman Business Circle, I Am Africa, Vice Chair in Global Chamber of Business Leaders, GCBL. Head of Diplomacy and Protocol, AACID and WPS, WPC. Vice President of The Voice Magazine. Founder and President of Refai NGO Switzerland. Founder and Vice President Youth, YouthGate Cambodia. President, Women and Youth Empowerment, Anor Association, Morocco, and many, many more. But you know what? Above all, Above all, ladies and gentlemen, she is a simple, humble, caring, uh, this wonderful, wonderful human being that I can tell you today, I just didn't get a celebrity guest on the show. I've got a loving, caring sister. So Your Excellency, welcome to the Be Your Own Boss podcast. Thank you so much. Um... I don't have any other word to say more than um, I'm blessed. A lot of gratitude, the way you present me. Thank you. And it shows something which is different, that you are with a lot of knowledge and have ability, and that's why you are building the people to be boss of themselves. Be Your Own Boss. It's a podcast which really attracts me by the name because we are in the same field. I'm in youth empowerment and women empowerment. And I move from empowerment to women business circle and building the future leader of tomorrow with the young generation. Wow. Thank you so much. I'm so blessed to be with you in your podcast. Thank you. Thank you so much. It means a lot to me. It's a pleasure. And Let's talk about be your own boss first. So the concept of being your own boss. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so motivated by the name because um, we done a boss talk, a business gate boss yeah. talk, which is different but similar. For me, each one have his own vision. He want to be a leader. He want to succeed. And all of them, even that woman which is behind the scene, she's a boss in her circle. Each one boss of himself or boss of his circle or boss for his community and community. Everyone has to be boss, but with humble way. Mm -hmm. Today, we've seen a lot of new generation become celebrities, and that is faster. I call it faster celebrities on the social media. Uh, for me, to be boss, mm is to be leader. It's to inspire other generation to focus on himself. Because when you are in airplane, they always say, put a mask to yourself and then put for others. Yeah. Before to be leader, educate yourself, be boss of yourself, succeed, build your skill, build your knowledge, 
and build more important than anything your personality. You cannot just come and be boss and execute for others. First, make norms for yourself. I mean, be boss of yourself. So I love the concept. Thank you so much. It's amazing. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. You, you spoke about leadership. I think when it comes to business, leadership is the top quality that, you know, that we need to look for. And in your experience, you've, you, you know, you're on the global platform. Thank Tell you. us about the different, you know, leadership uh, styles that you've seen. Since I am uh, kids, I learned from my father. My his soul rest in peace. Um, he was giving me lead. He say, he called me general in the house because I was the oldest one, and always he giving me responsibility. And I'm going with him to office since I am uh, eight ten years because he was expecting me to be boy, but I was a lady. <laughs> to him, I'm his lady. So the leadership is for our families to give a lead even to the kids to be ready to lead ready to uh, guide ready to inspire and also not only that beyond that the title to be human yeah. to feel others to empower them to give them opportunity to express themselves to watch them to guide them and even though sometimes you have to be a little tough on them but you have to let them opportunity to speak up. So there is a difference between a leader and a boss. True. That's why I like your concept, be your own boss, but be a leader for others. So from here, I will talk about Dubai, especially UAE, which we learn a lot of things, beautiful things. And I say thank you to the leader of UAE because we learn from them many things. Opportunity. Uh, even taking a risk, because the great leader, if he don't take a risk, that it will be big risk, because you will never learn. Also, to inspire from others, people, opportunities, they, they approach us, ideas, and uh, guide the people. So, a leadership is a big agenda mm -hmm. and big vision, and it's challenge. So. No matter whom we are, each one has his different vision to be leader. But the great leader, he is the one who's building other leaders. The leader is the one who builds other the leaders. leaders. Yeah, yeah, that's amazing. And you're right. Like in, we see the example of that in Dubai, right? Which is, you know, the, the how the leaders of Dubai are leading the way forward, always looking forward in 50 years from now Challenges. and build the, yeah, yeah. Now, Dubai is a, a global hub, right, where we have like, what, mm -hmm. more than 200 nationalities here, mm -hmm. you know, different cultures coming together. So can you tell us about the culture part, like when it comes to business, you know, bringing yes. different cultures together? Sure. In general, Middle East, it's become a trend for a lot of European and people, especially uh, after COVID, mm -hmm. a lot of people come here and uh, especially to UAE and Dubai exclusively because it's a land of tolerance, a land of opportunities and land when the dream come through. So Dubai is number one. Dubai is the dream challenging others. And I say Dubai is Marvel City and Magic City. And it's that, it's only about a leadership. Mm. UAE is built by tolerance, peace, love, respect to the humanity. Since the ruler, my God bless him in the heaven, Sheikh Zayed, he started this mission. And all the rulers of UAE having the same vision for everybody. They're respecting humanity, people, no matter whom they are, no matter which nationality, which color skin, and which religion. The most important, we build together, we grow together, and we respect each other. Mm -hmm. um, the experience for Dubai, it's been showing during many years, and the growth we see in it, 
months by months, day by day, and impossible missions has been happened, the magic been happened. Expo 2020 was the biggest challenge in difficult time during the COVID, even though they've done it, and it's amazing. And congratulations again and again, because they make a legend. The second is COP28, which is englobing many nationality and make the challenge for new technology and new sustainability and new innovation vision. And we've seen a lot of platforms come here, a lot of companies, a lot of big investors. And the next challenge, the biggest biggest aeroport in the world with the biggest city, which will be by the vision of His uh, Highness, Sheikh Mohammed Marashid, God bless him, and also with the big leading of the fantastic leaders, Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed, may God bless him. When we see this vision, we learn from our leaders, either two, local or or expat, when we come to UAE as expat, we feel ourselves, we are from the country. People, when they come to UAE generally or to Dubai exclusively, they don't feel stranger because of the quality of living, the quality of respecting, the red carpet which they're being given, different category of the people. They don't want to go. They always want to stay. So welcome to Dubai and welcome to UAE exclusively. Absolutely. All the businessmen and challenges and people who have great vision, great mindset, and also respect of the humanity. Country of tolerance and land of opportunity, UAE. Yeah. Let's let's also talk about the, the, the people who are outside watching this from, let's say, overseas, who want to come to Dubai to set up their business. We have in Dubai, there is mm-hmm. a there is a particular ease of business mm-hmm. when you come. So can you tell us more about yeah. that as a okay. Now it's not only in Dubai, in all Emirates, especially in Abu Dhabi also, there is a special um making it easy for the entrepreneur and for investors who want to start a business. And there is different category of business. And you can do them even though online. Mm. There is also free zones, the most biggest free zone in the world in UAE. And you can have your own company without even offices. And you can also book online. And there is a beautiful also making it easy banking online. Mm. So also there is your visa online. I mean, today there is always innovation. They're making it easy for the people. Welcome. You want to build your business? You are most welcome. You want to build your future? You're most welcome. So UAE, it's become the land of opportunity. And Dubai is also, I call always, is the diamond shine number one in all the world. Absolutely. Absolutely, ma'am. So in addition to Dubai, right, your focus is a lot on Africa as well, right? I am Africa. Tell us about Africa more. My story with Africa, I love my Africa. And uh, I was doing the youth uh, development and youth empowerment with African country for many years. with an uh, Arab African youth. And from that, I was challenging about why I don't build a platform called I Am Africa. And as I work with Queen Sheba for African country, and I am also with The Voice magazine since 14 years, which is African magazine for the children of Africa. Mm. The inspiration comes from all those, and we make a platform called I Am Africa for the lovers of Africa. We target SMEs, we target the youth and women in Parliament, we target also small business uh, investments, and uh, we bridge uh, Africa with Middle East for business and culture. We done one big event with The Voice magazine. It's called um, Africa UAE Bridging Economy and Culture, The Voice Achievement Award. We bring a lot of people. We see the opportunity, how we can um, invest our times in Africa. Yes, Africa today, everybody says it's the future. Africa have our own resources. Africa have a lot of riches, but 
it's Romain, Africa doesn't have a big strategy of leaders how to use perfectly those sources. So we challenge the Africans, like uh, all the expat African, how we can do it. We start uh, Africa Expo. We done it here last year, and we bring a lot of businessmen. But still, it did not go like we like it. Mm -hmm. We are doing this year with the Voice magazine in Kenya, the 25th anniversary of African uh, community with the Voice magazine and I Am Africa. Our expectation is not to do only show. Mm -hmm. It's to make challenge and back to motivate, to build and to give the boost for African to made made in Africa to bring investments to Africa to build education healthcare to go to the villages where there is no water no energy no food there is a lack of uh, knowledge and education uh, to see what's a need but with one hand two hands we cannot clap we need others hand to be with us so that's why we raise our voice to many um Uh, people who are in investments portfolio mm -hmm. and we are tying up with some uh, people from Africa they're from Morocco Senegal some of them from Kenya Nigeria and uh, Bra Congo Brazzaville Niger Mali we're seeing how we can join forces and do something uh, always African and world come to everybody But we need system solution for sustainability, mm -hmm. three S. And we need three T, tolerance, and we need testimony, and we need transparency. If we don't have this three S and three T, we cannot work in Africa very easy. Uh, African, they are brilliant. They are amazing. They have new generation, which is smart, hard worker. Um, I seen a lot of women which I bring with the Women Business Circle from Africa, from Cameroon. I say thank you to them. And from different other countries, every year there is one lady Cameroon which I work with her, bringing me 20, 30 mm -hmm. uh, Africans. But even though still that is not Africa, that small drop in Africa, we need to make a wake-up call for Mama Africa. A Queen Sheba, she's working hard for... Um, near Congo for a lot of projects, uh, free zone and uh, uh, building some uh, new lands for sustainability on agriculture. They're using the high uh, caliber uh, professional advisors uh, for new coming up uh, mini project. But still, like I say, we need SOS investors. We need the lovers of Africa. We need the people who believe on Africa to be on Africa. So would it also help like when global companies, multinational companies set up base in Africa and, you know, improve? What is your vision on the multinational companies? There is a lot of people there in Africa, multinational, and a lot of European are in Africa. Chinese, Korean, Japanese, even to Middle East. There is a lot of opportunity. In Morocco, there is a lot, lot of opportunities which has been built globally, internationally. UAE is investing in Morocco. Others countries, Saudi, investing in Morocco. A lot of GCC people, a European, German, France, Spanish, I mean, American. There is Turkish There was in Morocco, for example. It's in part of Africa. And when I was in Africa, also in Congo, in Ghana, in Nigeria, in Kenya, I seen Turkish, I seen other, in Uganda, UAE is there, Rwanda, Rwanda, in yeah. Rwanda, I see some UAE investors, they're there. So, it's not about investing mm. simply, it's about adding value to Mama Africa. Yeah. And UAE done a great job in Morocco and in other countries. So, When you go as investors, you have to build and not only build the business, build the economy, build also part of human side, give opportunities to the people to work on yeah. that investments. Yeah. This is the difference between investor and investors. Some people invest only in his money, 
but some people invest on the land, on the mindset and human set and in assets. So we have to add value to the place where we invest. Absolutely. Yeah. What a brilliant thought. What a brilliant thought. And I love the way you've put, um, I think this message, what you've just told about Africa, this exactly tells like tells the world what we need to do in Africa for Africa. I think this is this is brilliant. L- let's talk about India as well. I'm from India. Yes, <laughs> Indian are in Africa, a lot of Indian in Africa, and they invest a lot in gold, in mining. I see a lot of Indian also. Sorry, I forgot about that. <laughs> yes, Indian they they invest in uh, mining a lot and in economy in uh, trade. Mm. So today, India is also taking over in the globe. But what I like about Mama India, I always say I'm Indian without passport. (laughs) (laughs) Why is this? Because I've been with a lot of community of people, expat from India here. And also I travel to India and I meet my family Indian and I send them best regard from Dubai because they treat me like a queen. Um, it doesn't matter whom you are, but it's matter how human you are. And that's why I learn in India. And I say, thank you, Mama India. I've been in all the news. I've been in different level of life. I get the peace in my heart when I am with those people who know the value of humanity. Because it's very rare when you find a people who's respecting you for what value you are, not for your title. And that's the difference. Beautifully put. There's a lot of uh, importance you give on women empowerment and women mm-hmm. leadership, women in business. Now tell us more about that. I started many years in women empowerment, more than 16 years. And I've been helping women in villages, like I say. We start with rural women. We go to many villages uh, in Cambodia, Indonesia, Malaysia. And I've been in uh, Morocco, in Aitfaska, a small village in India also. Mm. And uh, we see different, different categories as women. Each woman is smart. As much the woman is raising and giving birth, to the people and taking care of her small circle for her family as a sister or as a mother or as a wife, it's always have some be your own boss challenge. So she lead that uh, with a royalty because each woman is queen to me. So from philanthropist, I moved to how we can monetize her passion. She um, been helping everyone now we have to help her and she have to help herself and to be your own own. boss so that's why i like this topic women empowerment has been used a lot and i don't think so that united nation bring this topic to empower the women and the leaders of countries they put this effort to empower the women from nowhere because a woman always is born to be leader and it's born to lead. So in that topic, we will say women wear different hats, do multitask. And uh, it's proved that she bring a life and make president. His mother is a woman. The prophets, the mother is a woman. Yeah. So and king, his mother is a woman. So in the end, success always come with the women. So, and also women are very brilliant. That's why they use them on marketings too much, on sales too much. They have ability and capability to execute and to achieve. It's not mean that a man they don't do. We need a gentleman. We need a man in our shoulder. Without a man, life cannot be. But I move from women empowerment to women business power because we notice that everyone need that luxury, that money, that income. And we start empowering women in different way, how to be building her financial freedom. And from that, we start with SMEs of women, 
Mm-hmm. Women who's working from home, women who don't have a license, we help her to start up her business and even do cooking from her home or doing handmade things. And that gave me the idea to go to the villages of rural. I find a lot of women in villages, they are very productive and they have a lot of activity. Even those artists, in yeah. the end, she makes some handcraft that's beautiful yeah. or some art and we sell it. So. That's why we do women empower other women. Women lift hand other hand the women. And we our system is not I, it's we together, we grow together, we rise together, we shine together, and we empower each other. Yeah. So in the end, women business circle, I think it was my aim just to empower a lot of women to know how to start and how to be entrepreneur and leadership and how to be her own. Boss. Your own boss. Thank you. Yes. I want to ask you one more thing about women and especially to the to the youth of today. Yeah. If we look at the the young generation, the the next generation leaders who are going to come become leaders, oh. right? What's your <laughs> message for them on treating women? Oh my, my, my. Yours? <laughs> you know why I laugh? Yeah. I have to first is to talk about the new generation. Oh, my God. I call them <laughs> digital generation. The new generation is very smart. They're moving fast. They're brilliant. But they're burning themselves on digital devices and AI. Jet, and they become like um slave of technology. I say, my message to you, human being build technology. Don't let technology make you slave. And don't let technology control your life. Don't refer too much. Use your brain. Don't use device always. And be your own boss in proper way. Empower other people. The future leader are the young generation. The vision for the mother is mom, do for me. Mom, <laughs> give me. Mom, <laughs> help me. Yeah. Mom, I mean... Like his mother is the bank, his mother is the source of information, his mother is everything. Yes, your mother is everything, but there's one time, use your brain, use your capacity, use your knowledge, and respect your mom. The vision to the women, the young generation or the future leader, they want the women to be working. They want to be 50-50 at home. I miss to say to this generation, be a leader. Be a people with compassion. Be responsible. Don't refer your future for women only working to be part. Yes, she will participate. But we grow in generation is a man a leader. So be a leader of your family and don't be always a need to other person. Make your calculation for your future. Make your strategy. Make your plan. It's Consider your life with the women like you are the leader, not like you are entrepreneur. And never enter to relation because of Y and Z, because you are in need. No, let people feel that you are a real man who's going to take responsibility. Give them the trust, love them, respect them, and give always to them a feeling that you care and you take care. Take the best, leave the rest. What a beautiful message, and I, I love this, um, ma'am. You're you're famously quoted uh, on you know it, it, it online and everywhere. I see that there is a there is a quote that says that uh, that from you that says that uh, sustainability, not charity. Mm-hmm. Tell us more about that. I'm always with uh, sustainability, not charity. We don't accept charity anymore. I have uh, three NGO. One is called Refi, Refugees, Family, Environment in Switzerland, which we was dealing with uh, refugees during those, before the COVID, we, we, until the COVID we stopped. We don't take from no one donation. We build the system sustainability for them to make small business and let them earn your journey with respect, with wisdom. Because today, everybody can give you donation. But when it's come to tomorrow after tomorrow after tomorrow, you have, like they say, Chinese uh, slogan, teach me how to fish, don't give me fish. 
what we do, we teach them how to earn money, and there is different way. We give them knowledge, we teach them to be entrepreneur, we teach them how to sell, we teach them also from small things how to make it big. I remember one guy said, I'm not working, can you give me money? I said, no, I'll give you a project. He said, what? I said, okay. I give him machine of sugar, I give him sugar. I said, fill every day, 150 pocket he can. That's how I do. I say, ask all your family and people with you. And how I sell them, I say, you cannot, I will go. I go to some restaurant and coffee shops and I ask them, I have someone who is handicapped and I want to help him. Can you take from him those sugar, how much you buy this? Let's see, he say 10, I say, I can give you with eight. Say yes. And then this guy, he's opening now with 20 machine of sugar and wow. so I give it to everyone. So it just start with one idea and grow that idea and make it bigger. Yeah. Uh, you don't need to ask people money always. When I was a student, my daddy said, what are you doing now? Small pocket and why are you hiding them? I sell, I sell them to my friends in school. I do also this, uh, like, I do coughing, I do a lot of things, and I take them. It's not about to sell to the people, yeah, it's about to feel responsible. And when you learn how to earn small money, you will be always on need to earn more, and it will be in your system. So, I want them to the parents, to encourage them for teaching them children to make a profit from them passion. Monetize your passion. Your kids can, it's not to make him trading. I see some system, they teach the people, the young kids, where they want to go in each uh, field. If in aviation or entrepreneur or uh, astronaut or painter or singer. So from that, let them monetize that passion. Not all the kids will be doctor or lawyer or uh, judge or, because everybody want his, it was a fashion. Everybody want his kids to be doctor and or lawyer, engineer. engineer. Yeah, yeah. He can be wherever as much he's happy. Yeah. But even though some people take a degree and put it in the wall, a degree doesn't make your uh, personality. Yes, take certificate from university, take a degree, learn a knowledge, mm. but do something which you love, which can make your passion raise and shine. Be your own boss in proper way to make things which you love. Don't push yourself to be sad and do something which other love. That is so important. Brilliant. Um, there are a lot of questions that um, that I got when mm -hmm. I when I you know when I told people that I'm going to be interviewing you. I'm going to ask you a couple of those questions. Sure. But but My before pleasure. that, I want to also know when you talk to the youth of mm -hmm. today. Yeah. What kind of questions do you get from them? Well, well, well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love the youth because um, I've been in many campus uh, for universities and. Yeah. Uh, some of them for leadership, some of them for skills, some of them they want to be entrepreneur, some of them just curious, they want to know who is Laila Han. I always say uh, so to them, don't take me as prototype. There is a lot of inspiring people which can inspire in you, but don't copy the personality. Take the things which fit with your personality. Take just the inspiration. Never copy best. Inspire, create, achieve, moderate, change, challenge, and then make the impact. Those are the key of the success. Each one have his own charisma, his own personality, his own behavior, his own education, and his own culture. We inspire people to be sparked. We inspire people to give them challenge, but we don't impose the inspiration to be equal and similar. Mm -hmm. I see a lot of um, young generation, they want to be singer. And I want to be like this one, like this one. Even he's pretending when he speak, he uh, or sing, he sing with the voice. I say, no, but sing with They act with like your... them, right? <laughs> yeah. Just be yourself. <laughs> say, sing with your voice. Maybe your voice is beautiful than the others. And... 
when you act, act with your personality. Don't pretend and make your soul out of your body to be like X and Y, Z. Stay yourself and take inspiration from others, people. So the young generation, I want to tell them, be inspired, be yourself, be brilliant. Take always the best things from anything, even in the dress, in culture, in the way of speaking, way of acting, way of singing, way of challenging, and take success. Take a positive vibes, keep away from negative vibe, and keep off miming and copying the bad negative things. Because a lot of people, I say, my message today, it's not to the young generation. My message is to the influencers. To those social media people, to the TikTokers, the people who are just blah, 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 blah in platform social media. Kindly be careful what you're posting for young generation. Be aware that these people copying each, each single activity you do, especially the kids, because everything is being open in social media. You are inspiring the new generation. And we want them to be a leader of tomorrow. Inspire them with good, challenging things. Some of them, uh, really, content is low. And the kids copy it exactly. And that's why I have um, my sister daughter last time. She cut her hair. She put her lips black. She she wear jacket half. And she come, hey, Spice Girl. <laughs> <laughs> I say, what are you doing? Her mom, she wanted to really, she was furious. I say, no, 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 come here. Where did you see this? I see it in TikTok. So who's That's the impact? Control, that. the parent, control your children, what they see. And she was only six years. Oh, my God. So that's why I send my message to the influencer, whom they are, from where they are. Please. Be responsible. Be responsible. Yeah. Challenge the people with your good content. We don't need our children to be uh, the TikTok generation or those bad influencer generation and the world. And even do uh, the cigarettes, smoking, drinking, showing those. I mean, and decent behavior. Keep it for you. Mm. Low profile. People always, people like to to watch them more, and sometimes uneducated people. No moral. Be wise. Be with moral. Thank you. Thank Welcome. you for that message. This is this is very, very important, and uh, thanks for sharing that. The, the, w- one of the questions that I got from the community, mm-hmm. uh, from the business community, is having seen the kind of um, different businesses and having interacted with it, mm-hmm. What do you see as the area, one area of business that needs, like, that's the future and needs more investment? Uh, that? As a, a vice president of uh, Global Chamber of Business Leader, yes, we launch uh, many different initiatives. And we've seen that there is a, a lot of area in the business, especially innovations, climate change and uh, economy boosters, because uh, the food food, health, and climate change. There's three sections. If we don't have good food and good health and good uh, home, we cannot even do, think about education. Education is well required, sure, is one of the four. Uh, people need to invest in the mindset. If we invest in the mindset and education and healthy things for the people, we can get good, balanced uh, economy. We can get respectable uh, generation, we can get a lot of things and creativity. Yeah. I think uh, the I come back to UAE always. UAE uh, leadership, they are very smart and God bless them because they are always investing on useful things, investing on the mindset and education for new generation and giving them possibility for uh, research, for knowledge, for innovation, for opportunity to lead even uh, young uh, ministers. The first young minister of the youth, it was uh, Minister of Youth, Shama. God give her a lot of power. She's amazing. The first uh, also Minister of Happiness, Hmm. 
It was a lady and the first lady who made challenge in COP28. It was, uh, uh, sorry, in COP, yeah, COP28. Um, she was uh, for sustainability Maisie, but the most important is Expo 2020. Uh, it was amazing, leading by a woman. So believe on the capacity of young generation and capacity for women. Mm -hmm. Work together, build each other, boost each other, be innovative, be creative, and invest in the right track. Follow the new challenges. Don't follow the old-fashioned areas. And I think uh, stop fighting because fighting mm -hmm. is destroying everything. Uh, we need to collaborate, not to compete. We need to be together for the humanity. Be tolerant. That's tips which can be always given to everyone. Be yourself. Be your own boss. Yeah. And be challenging others. Well, Your Excellency, you have given me a hundred new meaning for be your own boss, right? The concept of be your own boss. And I really, really appreciate that. I have one last question before we wrap up here. Yeah. How was your experience being on the Be Your Own Boss podcast? And then, then, then. I was going to stand <laughs> on this every time. And that was my challenge when I was uh, young. I was the smallest entrepreneur in the family. And I started to be my own boss at the age of 12. And I say today to everyone, be your own boss. My testimony today, I'm thankful because you let me talk. You bring a thought. You bring challenges. And each one has to be his own boss. This opportunity for podcast, it's not just highlighting me or you. It's um, a wisdom to many generations. It's uh, challenges to many people. It could be to a mother who raised 10 kids and never have the opportunity to be her own boss that we give her a voice to be her, her own yeah. boss. And to the young generation who want to judge, mean, we don't tell you be your own boss just to step on everything. And to, no, educate yourself, build your skills, build your personality, get the resilience, shiny time. But when you get your everything done, Try to be your own boss. Decide your future. And that's the message today from this podcast. This podcast is made to give you a wins to fly, to build, and to be responsible, committed, and to challenge others. Be your own boss. It's not only a title which you have to grab it. No, it's a mission which you have to be fit full for it. And transmitted to others. Be your our boss. My boss is myself. Your boss is yourself. But always think that there is other boss with us, which we have to respect. Respect your country, respect the rulers, respect the commitment, respect the rules. Don't put the rules for being your own boss. Only think about society and respect that the people who are behind you, behind the scene, will build your personality. Thank you for this challenge. Thank it you was so amazing. Much. And I say thank you to you and thank you to the people who are behind the scene, the cameraman, light man, and the people who's going to do this podcast editing. Thank you for you as scenarist and podcast presenting. Be your own boss. Thank you so much, ma'am. And this mug is as a token of uh, appreciation and thank, thank you. you. Yeah, this is. This I got is my cup tea and being my boss. <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, thank you for watching this interview till the end. And I'm sure you have uh, learned a lot. I got to know so many different meanings of be your own boss. And like, I just got to see it in, in so many different lights. So uh, thanks for watching. And uh, do let us know in the comments if you have any other questions and any other topics, anything that you want us to bring on the show, we will be happy to um, look into those and we'll bring that. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned to Be Your Own Boss. Oh, oh, oh.